Good evening, folks. It's been years that they have known what the galactic magnetic field looks like. The polar fields. The equatorial fields radially flowing outward as they do in a Parker spiral. And, of course, the wavy, rippling electric field. The galactic current sheet. Let's do a bit of review. Decades ago, they thought the galactic fields were random and fragmented, but now they know they are coherent and a large-scale system. We've seen this in other galaxies and studied it thoroughly here. This morning, we went over the latest detailed study on the large-scale coherent magnetic field of the Milky Way. And as I said this morning, it's nice to get confirmation, but the realization of the implications for our solar system are not so nice. It's actually a fairly basic known form, taken on by any spinning magnetic system, even when it begins as a flat plane. The spinning central sphere magnet causes the undulations, same as happens with the solar wind in our solar system. They have done many model studies, and they seem to show the exact same thing that real astronomical observations are showing. The segmenting and waves form due to the spin of the system, with extreme rippling as you get a bit further away from the central engine. Hard to even count the number of waves in a given area. They have determined that in the Milky Way, the current sheet waves expand from 60 to 170 parsecs tall, growing as you head outwards towards the outer reach of the galaxy. They have also discovered that they are thick, with the waves being tens of light years from end to end, having a central magnetic null and surrounded on either side by enhancements of ions, neutral gases, and dust. They even know the density of those waves is about 10% higher than the surrounding interstellar medium. It's not a question. Both models and observations tell the same story of the galactic scale Parker instability with the central magnetic engine. They've even tried to count the number of ripples in our galaxy, but plotting those turns out not to be useful. There are so many more than there are spiral arms, it is difficult to imagine. The point of all of this is that once you recognize that this element of the galactic system exists, you must also realize that these waves must hit the stars and the planets as time marches forward, and that they deliver not only that extra material, but contain the galactic magnetic reversal. This is what's happening to our solar system right now. We are being impacted by one of the waves of the galactic current sheet of the Milky Way. It is why Earth's magnetic field is shifting, why there are major changes on all the planets, and why the end game is a solar micronova. This is what we're dealing with and what's coming. And this morning was an excellent reminder of why it's all happening. As always, all of the background information on this topic is in the description box below the video. If you have not watched those two short background videos, please do so. Could be the most important free information you have access to today. I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.